Good afternoon, YouTube family. This is Leah Boone. Welcome to Marnock Ministries. Let me fix the camera. <laughs> um, I was in prayer just a little, just a little while ago, and I heard the Lord say, "Tell them to wait on me." And then I looked over at my Bible, and it was at Psalm 62. A calm resolve to wait for the salvation of God. I cannot make this stuff up, you guys. <laughs> like, the Lord is so amazing. I was like, did I really hear him say that? Or was that just in my head? But then I looked directly at my Bible, and it's on Psalm 62. Like, how, how does he always do that? Like, the Lord is just so amazing. He's so amazing. Psalm 62, truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you attack a man? You shall be slain, all of you, like a leaning wall and a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him. They only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. God is just saying that he needs you to trust him and wait on him because that breakthrough and that miracle is coming in the name of Jesus. It gets really hard in the last like few minutes or, or few hours or few days before you know that you need you need God to act. You need God to move in your life, and um, you know even we're all human. We get this way, and and um, I do it. I mean, when, when you're, I mean, He does these things like to test your faith, to see if you're going to trust Him to come through for you. But it's like every single time He comes through, like in a way that you cannot even like explain or couldn't have figured out beforehand. And then it just happens. And a lot of times it's like at the very last second, it suddenly comes together. And, um, so the Lord is just saying, wait, wait on me. I am the promise maker and I am the promise keeper. I am not a man that I should lie. He said, tell them to wait on me. Truly, my soul silently waits for God. I shall not be greatly moved. God is your salvation. He is your provider, Jehovah Jireh. He is, he is so faithful, you guys. He is so faithful. It's in those times that I kind of, I have to be like, okay, well, he's, he's, you know, he's come through every time before. Um, but then, you know, the warfare comes and the, in the, um, the persecution and, um, all the other, you know, the enemy trying to speak to you, make you think that, um, Oh, it's not what God said or whatever. And you just have to, you have to stand strong. You have to rebuke those thoughts and take those thoughts captive in the name of Jesus and, and call it out and not let it rule over you. You have to completely stop it before it, it festers and grows into fear. And trust me, I've been there a few times. I had to get some afternoon coffee. Um, it's about like four o'clock or so, I think. Um, but 
but that's what the Lord wanted me to tell you. So that's, that's it. It was just a short word um, that he loves you. You will not be greatly moved and wait on him in the name of Jesus. Um, what does waiting look like? Waiting on God is to continue working on those things that he asked you to work on. It is continuing to, to move forward in the things of God. It is um, continuing to trust him, to keep praying. Pray until you see change. Um, don't stop doing anything. Uh, keep, keep moving. Keep moving forward. Don't stop. Um, but, but wait for him to work. Wait, wait for him to work in your situation. Keep doing those things that he's asked you to work on. And um, keep praying. Keep praising in the name of Jesus. Keep um, fighting the, the warfare. Um, God will come through for you in the name of Jesus. I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.